Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you guys are fine and I want to say stay safe to all of you. In today's session, I am going to address two problems that has been posted by Vivek Patak and Ayush Kuswaha in our group EPCM2077 and in the, in the meantime, I want to address one question or one issue that has been asked by Sujit Mishra in uh, my personal message box. So, <coughs> today's session is about three questions. But one question is not about uh, theoretical questions or questions from subject. It's about my, my book. In the meantime, we'll discuss about that. So let's start our session. The first question has been asked by Vivek Patak. You can see the questions in this upper part of video. And the question is from uh, physics. And this is actually from current electricity section. It is about a circuit. It is given a circuit. Uh, here is register R3. Here is R2. Here is R1 and here is a voltage source V and here is a capacitor with capacitance C and the problem is asking us to find the voltage across capacitor. So in DC what you have to know is that at steady states the capacitor acts as open circuit in DC. So if you encounter any problem that contain capacitor in your DC circuit make sure that it gets open circuit it gets open circuited at a steady state so when this capacitor gets open circuited at a steady state then this circuit will ultimately change into this circuit so make open circuit across the capacitor r3 r2 r1 being open this path has no operational function in this circuit that means our working circuit is only this circuit for this case as this path gets open circuit due to presence of capacitor so the voltage across capacitor is actually voltage developed across these two terminals so these two terminals if this path is not functioning as or not working that means in simpler way if current is not flowing through this path then this terminal is ultimately this terminal so this terminal is this one and this terminal is this one because no current flows through this path and no voltage drops across R3. So voltage across this point and this point are same. Voltage across this point and this point are same. So voltage across capacitor is actually voltage across resistor R2. So from this circuit, if there is no capacitor and this path is not functional, then we can simply draw this circuit as this form that means it is a series circuit in which two resistors r1 and r2 are connected along series with the voltage source b and we know these two terminals belongs to terminals of capacitor so directly we can write bc equal to br2 so voltage across r2 is uh, from voltage division rule it is r2 by r1 plus r2 into v or if you are not getting the voltage division rule then simply we can say voltage across r2 is i r2 in this sense i is current flowing across this loop and what what we can write i equal to v by r1 plus r2 into r2 so r2 by r1 plus r2 into v the same expression we will get from both way so our correct option is according to our problem given the correct option is option d so this is the first problem that has been asked by Vivek Patak. I hope uh, you guys, all, all, all of you guys along with Vivek Patak will understand my uh, solution. And another question, uh, there is one more question that has been asked by Ayus Kuswaha from mathematics. But before going to that question, I want to talk about one question that has been asked by Sujit Mishra. Uh, Sujit Mishra Bile say and keep on work at the winning sort of bag of book on second name, manner of message my life in box more than work as a you all get the custody address your always value situation cost on the other design. I know about your corona go joking legal as a summer like some of my mirror of no view of a custody your system on the liberty on the neck is in good nitty just to serve a serial reward so exam lisa give us a quality time gap dinza in case. I will be in the session. I will start the session. I will be in 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 the session
क्यों वाली सॉफ्टिशियन टाइम दियो बने बने इंट्रेंस प्रिपरेशन करने टाइम भाई बने बने अब इंट्रेंस इंस्टीट्यूट हर लेते त्यों प्रिपरेशन चलाऊँ ना अलग अलग गारे हों सब तो लाख समाला क्यों बने यो जोन भाईरस को मेडिसिन पता ना लाई सही बावस्ता सा तेले कर दा खेरी अब बुक पानी अलग अलग सिचुएशन है रे निकालने पर नहीं होना जहाँ समाला लाख सा मलाई मेरो मले दुई टा बुक्स अभी प्रिपेयर कर रहा का अवस्था हो आइले इंट्रांस फिजिक्स रा हमरो रेगुलर मेरो रेगुलर बुक आईओ इंट्रांस एक्सिलरेटर एंड ई एपीसीएम बने रहती हो पहला र आइले तब एप्टीच्यूड आठ ऐसा कैसा सो आईओ इंट्रांस एक्सिलरेटर एंड ईपीसीएम दो ये टा बुक्स हैं सो इंट्रांस फिजिक्स चाहे मत चाहे नहीं अवेलेबल कराया आल्सो जस्ट लाख समाला ये कोरोना फॉल्नी बित्ती कई अब ईपीसीएम को केस में जाइए ना डिसीजन करने पर नहीं बन्चा अब स्टूडेंट ले कॉस्ट तो रिस्पांस कर सकते ग्रुप और में बुक चाहिए इनसे सर अंडले बन्नी खाल को आया बन्नी जाइए तो बुक पनी बन्नी खालना सॉक्स वाला जो तो मलाय लाख सा सो ये तो बन्नी जाइए सुजीत मिश्रा भाई को क्वेश्चन पनी एड्रेस पे गौरनु भागो थियो यो सही कस्टमर में मैथमेटिक्स वाला सा द नंबर ऑफ स्टेट लाइन पासिंग थ्रू पॉइंट टू कमा फोर एंड फॉर्मिंग ट्रेंगल ऑफ एरिया सिक्स नी स्क्वायर सिक्स यूनिट्स विथ कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस ये वाला लाइन पता लाऊं ऊपर नीचे जस्ट ले जून से टू कमा फोर वाला पास होना जरा कोऑर्डिनेट एक्स the x-axis so let's say this is a line which passes through 2 comma 4 and it makes a triangle OAB with coordinate axis whose area is 16 square units as given in question so what is the equation of this line in slope form we can write uh, y minus y1 m into x minus x1 that is y minus 4 m times x minus 2 if we arrange this equation then we get mx minus y mx minus y plus 4 minus 2m is equal to 0 So if a line makes A intercept with the x-axis and B intercept with y-axis, then area of triangle AOB in that case is half modulus AV. So I am here, I am using modulus here because we have to think that there may not be the case where always these intercepts are positive these, inter these intercepts can be negative so we use modulus because area of triangle is always positive so we have to find the number of line that passes through 2 comma 4 the number of line that passes through 2 comma 4 and makes area of what 16 square units before finding this uh, <coughs> before putting the value of a and b in this problem let's Let's change this form into slope intercept form. So mx uh, minus y equal to 2m minus 4. That means it can be changed uh, into slope intercept form as That is for this instance a is equal to 2 times m minus 2 by m and b equal to 2 times 2 minus m. So if we put these values in this a expression we get 16 square units is equal to half times modulus of 2 m minus 2 by m into 2 2 minus m. So 2 to 4 divided by 2 it remains 2 here and when 16 is divided by that 2 it will be 8 is equal to if you people closely see here it is m minus 2 it is 
2 minus m so if we take minus 1 common from here that will be m minus 2 and that minus 1 when functioned in this absolute function that is modulus it will get changed into plus 1 so this will be uh, m minus 2 square that is in in terms of modulus m minus 2 modulus of m minus 2 square is actually only m minus 2 square because perfect square is itself always uh, equals to 0 or positive so we can directly write m minus 2 whole square by modulus m so this will change as 8 modulus m so this modulus m is actually changed into plus m or minus m if it is positive then it will be plus m if it will be negative then this modulus function makes that value as minus m what happens for m equal to 0 so m equal to 0 means 10 theta equal to 0 that means uh, this line is x axis and this line is not making any intercept so we have to uh, we have to be clear about that and when uh, we operate these functions in two ways then we will get how many values of m is possible and from that when we put those values over here then the number of lines will be calculated so first case so first case will be first case will be so m minus 2 square equal to 8m taking positive value of m so m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 8m that means m square minus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0 so we don't have to calculate the value of m we just go for its discriminant because nature of roots will be found from discriminant so discriminant equal to b square minus 4 is in that case minus 2l square minus 4 into a into c so 144 minus 16 that means uh, so we don't need to calculate this value because this value is greater than 0 that means two values of m possible that is two real roots two distinct roots not equal roots will be possible from this case and second case so if we analyze about second case then it will be m minus 2 whole square equal to minus 8 m because in this time we have uh, taken modulus of m is minus m so m square minus 4 m plus 4 minus 8 m so m square it will give uh, plus 4 m plus 4 equal to 0 so m plus 2 whole square is equal to 0 so it is a function whose discriminant is always zero and also we, we uh, can find out directly that it is a perfect square so it, it will be only possible for m equal to minus two that means one value possible one value of m possible one value of m possible so how many values of m possible is a total three values of m possible if three values of m possible if three values of two values of m from here and one values of m from here then we will get three lines we will get three lines from this equation after putting the value of m so according to these questions it has been asked us to find the number of straight line that passes through 2 comma 4 and forms triangle of area 16 square units with coordinate axis that means for three three values of m number of line will be number of lines will be three i think i have given the solutions of two questions actually this second question is very lengthy question and um, i think it is not suitable for i entrance examination in the long question because it will take very very much time it cannot be solved within two minutes but for the conceptual point of view it is good we have to do these types of problem to develop our skills in mathematics so by saying this uh, i want to end today's session i want to end this video thank you all of you and at last i want to say please do not forget to subscribe my channel which i have just started in youtube to address all the problems of epcm 20777 and thank you for watching this video